What's going on, guys? Got some exciting information for you today. An image for Black Ops 2 Wave 1 of DLC has been leaked by an advertiser. I'm assuming it was sometime late last night or early this morning. The title of the DLC appears to be Revolution. So here's the image that was leaked. It shows four multiplayer maps, one zombies map, and one new gun. To my knowledge, I've never seen a Call of Duty DLC ever release an individual weapon, so I'm going to assume it's for multiplayer only. But then again, who knows? It could be thrown into zombies as well. So let's go over these a little bit more in detail. Like I said, the gun, I'm not sure you're going to have to unlock it or whether it just comes with the purchase of the DLC or what. The first multiplayer map we have is Hydro. I'm assuming some sort of water feature will be on the map, hence the name Hydro. The next we have is Grind. It looks to be an open area, very colorful map, so probably good for air score streaks and, and such like that. The next one we have is Downhill. I'm hoping it's like Summit from Black Ops 1 because I haven't seen a lot of good snow maps come out of Call of Duty lately. The last we have is Mirage, and that looks to be somewhere in East Asia. Now here is the interesting stuff. The Zombies map. Named Die Rise. Obviously very similar to Doris. So probably some connections there. I'm assuming with this image you see before you that the next DLC, this one right here, will be set before Transit Green Run. And the reason I say that is because this image appears to have clear skies. And there's not much else... You know, there's no fog. There's no destruction of the earth. I do see the buildings are destroyed, but they're not. It's not complete chaos like transit is. So, my guess is that this zombies map, Die Rise, will take place before Transit Green Run. So let's zoom in on this image a little bit, and you see right by the zombie, in fact, that there's something in the sky, and I'm going to circle that out for you. And you see that it looks to be a helicopter. Now, that is kind of interesting. Something that might be small and insignificant, but I doubt it. Because usually when there's any kind of outside influence in a zombies map from Call of Duty, it has to do something with an Easter egg or, or some sort of storyline that's in it. If you've played Call of the Dead from Black Ops 1, Rick Toffin and the cast and crew that is locked in the... I don't know what you want to call it. In that little room on Call of the Dead, they were an outside influence and you had to release them to get the Easter egg. Just anytime there's something other than zombies to kill, this usually has something to do with the storyline. So a helicopter is kind of an interesting little piece of leaked information. So that's kind of nice to see something like that. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. That's my thoughts and theories so far. I mean, there's not much to go over with just an image. Since this image has been leaked so recently, I'm not really sure of a release date. From what I've seen, it appears to be January 29th, so we're only going to have to wait another month. Call of Duty and making us wait forever. I'm glad I own an Xbox, though, because it is going to come out first on Xbox, I believe. I apologize, you PSN guys, I, I know you're going to have to wait. I'm really, really sorry. I don't make that call, but all right, guys, this is what I got for you. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I don't know about you, but I cannot wait for the next DLC. All right, guys, as always, it's been Lone Gemini. Until next time.